So setting up so that you're super, super, super comfortable. You can see Kaylee has a bolster in underneath her knees so she's not falling back into the back of her knees and so that her low back is nice and soft. She has an eye pillow because she likes to have a little pressure over her eyes. Not on your eyes themselves, but on the forehead, just to let these muscles know to soften and it can also block out some of the distractions of the room. And then we bring a nice heavy blanket over. So a nice heavy blanket. You do not have to sit in this exact position. This is kind of a propped up version of the traditional position. This is not the exact way or the absolute way that you have to lay for your guided meditation. But make sure that you're comfortable. So we're gonna be here for quite some time. We're gonna be here for a while. You wanna be as comfortable as you can possibly be. So you wanna find a position that you know you're not gonna be uncomfortable, you're not gonna be forced to wriggle around in a lot. And you want to take a lot of time to make sure that you're in the correct position for you. So really wiggle around, make sure that you feel. Notice any tension in the body, notice any parts that need to be adjusted. Take your time to really adjust and wiggle and feel. And take some time to take in your environment. So you wanna really turn off fight or flight. You want to get into rest and restore. You want your digestion starting, you want to be so soft, so almost to the point of deep sleep. So things you can do to help you get to this point is start by really taking in your environment. So before you close your eyes, really look around, know where you are. If you're joining us, you may hear Noises in the background from downstairs, so take note of those and know that they may be kind of loud and disturbing. And rather than judge a sound of whether it should not, should or should not be there, notice that it's just a sound, it's just a vibration. It can move and pass. It doesn't have to interrupt and alert your fight or flight system. So let yourself know what sounds are in your own room and in the room around us. Take note of your breath. Kind of notice what your pattern of breath is right now. Are you kind of rapid, rapid breathing? Are you feeling a little anxious, stressed? Are you feeling kind of slow and sluggish? Just notice, take note of where you're at right now. And this is a time for you, a time to really melt and rest and restore. So to do that, you're going to give yourself permission to let go. And rather than thinking about being soft and perfect and meditative, being kind and forgiving and compassionate with where you're at in giving yourself permission for this to be your time, your time on the mat, your time to soften. <clears throat> Start to really notice where your body is touching support, particularly if you have cushions or bolsters. Let the muscles that are touching the support Feel the support, really take in and note of where your head is touching the ground, your legs, your torso. Notice where you have support so that you can melt into that support. Almost as if you're beginning to give the ground permission to carry you and your muscles permission 
to release their burden, soften, let go. This is a long guided meditation I'm going to talk you through, but there will be times where I leave you to silence. And those are times to really explore. And rather than fight the thoughts or fight what may or may not come up, notice what comes up. Take the time to really notice the thoughts, notice what pops up. And rather than judging a thought or getting trailed away in a thought, try to just see it as a thought. See it as something that the mind does and just let it pass on by. And if you notice yourself trailed away, trying to give yourself a little softness, a little compassion, a little kindness, and rather than being, oh, I should fight this, I should have my mind still, I have, should have it clear, I should, 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 should. Just try to say more to yourself, that's what the mind does. And get to know the thoughts that pop up. Get to know the worries, the swirls, the things that are constantly in the mind. The more that we get to know the inner workings of ourselves and our mind, the easier and easier it becomes to let them just swirl. Let them just pass as they're supposed to pass and be less entangled and caught up in. Start more and more to soften into the ground perhaps noticing the weight of your blanket, perhaps noticing the feel of gravity pulling you down to the ground. you're noticing your breath starting to slow and as you explore a breath notice if you have any gripping around the muscles of the breath in the torso notice if you're feeling any force or any tension around your breath notice the throat the chest the muscles in the abdomen and it can be very helpful to say to yourself Right here in this moment, all of my needs are met. I can soften, I can take a break. If you have an intention you're working with already, begin to utter it to yourself the way that you would to a dear friend. If you're not one that you're working with, think of something that you'd like to work with and think of a short, positive, affirmative sentence that you can make your intention for your practice or your intention for your day. Perhaps your intention for this month even, or the rest of what's left of this year. For example, if I want to feel more loved, I would say to myself, I am loved. If I want to work with self-worth, I would say, I am worthy. So keep your sentences in positive notes not using the word not if you want to work with health i am healthy say it as if you're whispering a truth 
that you firmly believe to a dear friend who is struggling. Notice perhaps as you're starting to settle in, maybe the tummy begins to rumble, your digestion starts to gurgle. And celebrate that rest. Celebrate the fact that your fight or flight is turning off and you're starting to rest and digest. And then we'll move on to a rotation of consciousness So just follow along as I label a body part and try to find your awareness right in that body part. You're gonna try and become just that body part, single point focus, not noticing anything else but that body part as we guide ourselves on a tour of the physical body. Notice when we touch on a body part, if there seems to be some gripping or some tension, think about softness. We'll begin with the right hand. Find the right hand thumb. First finger. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger. Palm of the right hand. Back of the right hand. Wrist. Forearm. Elbow. Upper arm. Shoulder, armpit, travel down the rib cage a rib at a time. Locate the space between the rib cage and the hip. Right hip, thigh, kneecap, lower leg ankle, heel, arch of the right foot, ball of the right foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Land all of your awareness on the right side of the body of turning on the lights and arriving home in the right side of the body. Gently shift your awareness over to the left side of the body. Find the left hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, back of the left hand, palm of the left hand, left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, travel down the rib cage, a rib at a time. Mm -hmm. 
locate the space between the rib cage and the hip. Left hip, thigh, kneecap, lower leg, ankle, heel, arch of the left foot, ball of the left foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Land your awareness on the left side of the body as if turning on awareness for every cell on the left side of the body. Arriving home and softening into the left side of the body. And then we'll move left and right sides. So find right foot, left foot, both feet. Right heel, left heel, both heels. Back of the right knee, back of the left knee, back of both knees, the entire knee on both sides. Right hip, left hip, across the hips. Right rib cage, left rib cage, across the ribs. Right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, across the shoulders. Right collarbone left collarbone, across the front of the chest, right arm, left arm, both arms, right ear, left ear, the space in between the ears, And then if you could rest, it's right in the center, right between the ears, just at the top of the spine in the very center of the brain. Bring all of your awareness here. And allow space for whatever is present in the mind to be present here. As if you're sitting in the center, watching the thoughts and the fluctuations of the mind fly by as an observer rather than a participant.
on to the practice of opposites. Practicing allowing space for opposite sensations. We'll begin with a sense of heaviness. So you begin to imagine you're filling up your physical body with a sense of heaviness. As if your arms, your legs, your torso are all filled with lead, heavy, drawing you down into the ground. Your toes are heavy, your fingers are heavy, your head is heavy, your face feels heavy, everything feels so heavy and drawn to the ground. Feeling heavier and heavier. Feeling so heavy that if a storm were to blow in, you couldn't possibly budge. You're so heavy and grounded, firmly placed on the ground. And gently invite in the opposite sensation, sensation of lightness. Begin to feel the sensation of lightness, softness, perhaps beginning to feel like you're filled with air. Your legs become soft and light. Arms are soft and light. Torso is light. Fingertips are light, toes are light, your head is light, feeling lighter and lighter and softer and softer, perhaps even beginning to feel the sensation of being so light, you're drifting away, soft and floaty and light. And then gently see if you can invite in both of these sensations at the same time. Sensation of lightness and then sensation of heaviness at the same time. And then we'll move on to the same practice with the sensation of emotion. So as we practice this, try not to attach to any memories. Try to just think of the sensation of an emotion and let it rest in the body, be felt in the body, get to know the sensation of emotion. 
So begin to invite in all of the sadness in the body, stored in the body. Allow the sadness to come to the surface and feel sadness. Allow the sensation of sadness to be felt in the physical body. Notice the sensation and if you must bring a memory to mind, allow it to come to mind and then feel the sensation it brings with us and with it and then return to the sensation and just allow it to expand. Notice where you feel it, allow it to expand. And then as you feel the sensation of sadness, allow any of the sadness in the body ready to come to the surface to be felt. Inviting it to be expanded and felt. And then as if gently allowing it to flow through, move to the opposite sensation, invite joy into the body, pure joy. And if you allow a memory to come to mind again, allow it to come to mind and feel the sensation, the physical sensation of pure joy where you feel it and allow it to expand in the body. Allowing more and more joy to come to the surface, to be felt, to be explored. And then gently invite in the possibility of allowing both of these opposite sensations, the sensation of pure joy and the sensation of sadness at the same time. See if you can allow space to hold present, presence for these opposite sensations at the same time. Allow that to soften away and return to the center point of the mind, allowing space for whatever is present here to be present here. Noticing that you can notice your thoughts and then maybe noticing some space in between the thoughts.
And then we'll softly move on to the energetic layer of the body. So thinking about energy that moves throughout the body. Easiest way to connect to this is to think about our energetic highway of our spine, the messages that come from our brain down our spine and throughout our body, and then all the way back up from all the parts of our body back to our brain, this movement of energy. We're gonna to start to think about it kind of visually, moving it intentionally as if cleansing this space with our intention. So begin to think about the energetic pathway that moves up and down your spine. Perhaps imagining your spine like a little tube and a pathway of energy moving up and down, up and down. You can give your energy a color, you can give it multiple colors maybe a temperature so that you can connect to perhaps a sensation of physical feeling. But again, to see this path moving up and down your spine, and begin to imagine it moving without any holding patterns or misaligned bones, everything moving freely up and down. And then just above the crown of your head, you're going to imagine a bowl of energy. And this bowl of energy is filled with compassion and unconditional love. And you can give your bowl of energy a color. And you need to imagine it right there above the crown of your head. And then from the crown of your head, you're going to imagine your own energetic pathway beginning to open up and reach out like a little trickle of light. And it connects with this cloud, this bubble of energy. And as it connects, it begins, your own little trickle of energy begins to expand and vibrate and look more fresh. It begins to fill and trickle down from this cloud of energy more compassion and unconditional love and is trickling down slowly down your spine and the more that you begin to connect with this energy source the more filled and refreshed and soft and expansive you begin to feel as if this energy is slowly expanding down your spine and throughout your entire form so gently touching every cell in your body with unconditional love and compassion. And the more that you draw in, the stronger your little connection strand looks. And the stronger and more full of life the ball of energy looks, never depleted, always this recycling flow of compassion and that unconditional love. Start to imagine that you're filling up so much this sensation of compassion and unconditional love that more and more you feel it expanding outside of yourself, being ready to give and glow and then spread out into your own world. The more that you draw in, the more it seems you have to give out. Mm -hmm. 
then gently see your little core detaching from the cloud of energy and just focus in on the sensation of being completely filled with the vibration of compassion and unconditional love. And then softly return to the center of the mind. We're going to walk ourselves through an imaginative journey. Try to paint in the details as much as possible, really having a visual experience. And if the thoughts or distractions pull you away, just gently paint back in the details, constantly returning to this visual scene. Trying to have a really visual experience, like a movie in your mind. So we're going to imagine that we were able to stand above ourselves and see ourselves in the room in this moment. And as you begin to paint in the details, Notice the thoughts that pull you away, particularly if you paint in yourself in this moment in this room, you begin to judge, you begin to be harsh. So each time one of these thoughts comes in, Imagine you're looking kind of at a mirror and you're just going to wash it away, wipe it clear, and you're going to start all over each time trying to see a more and more clear reflection of yourself in this moment. Each time one of those judgments judges pops in, Imagine you're wiping this leg clean and starting over until more and more you can see yourself as you are laying on the ground without judgment. Just as a being filled with life laying here in this moment. And be patient with your mind. Be patient with your own judgments and your ego popping up to have it say. Each time, just wipe clean as if you're wiping a mirror clean. Clear the slate. Maybe imagine that these thoughts are a fog around your body and you're just going to wipe your hand, make some breeze. Try to get the fog to lift away until you can see yourself clearly as you are in this moment. Not as you wish you were, not as perhaps you once were, but as you are in this moment, a being filled with life at rest in this moment. Notice if it is particularly hard for you to begin to see yourself as a being in this moment. And then start to draw this version that is looking above, looking at you from above. 
into this version of yourself that's your pure self. As if you've taken out the pure spirit of yourself and the purest part of yourself, the kindest, most compassionate, the purest part is the part that's looking down from above. And if this is hard to connect to, think of someone in your life, a relative, a loved one, someone who has been particularly compassionate to you. And think of their spirit looking down above you. How would they see you? How do they see you? When they look upon you, what do they see? How do they see you? And try not to let your mind get trailed away with memories. But think of the concept of a loved one, perhaps even an elder, a spirit guide, an angel, someone that is pure, just the pure part of them looking from above. you begin to see this pure part of yourself the self that's filled with compassion the self that's filled with unconditional love wrap you in unconditional love and kindness just as you are right now Perhaps there's a gesture of comfort, stroking of the hair. Maybe you can see an embrace of the you as you are now with the purest part of yourself. A comfort, a hug, or just a sitting beside you and being present beside you, allowing you space to be precisely as you are in this moment. And then see if you're envisioning your spirit guide or this purest part of yourself. Lay down next to you. Embrace you. And then their strength and their compassion and their kindness. Beginning to slowly become part of you absorbing back into yourself. And again, feel the vibration of unconditional loving kindness throughout your whole form, throughout the waves of your mind, the physical form, the energetic form, the little ego that pops up, all being wrapped in this unconditional love. And gently walk yourself back to the center of the mind and we'll move on to a practice of rapid visualization. And this practice is to allow 
visions to come to mind, images to come to mind. See them, observe them, and let them sweep on by. The practice of letting things pass. Try not to judge which image should or should not be there, but allowing an image to come, be seen, and pass. And we'll begin with the unicorn. Dewdrops on a spider's web. Leaves blowing in the wind. Fresh snow. The dark side of the moon. The face of a mentor. A herd of elephants. Sea turtles swimming in the waves. Sand falling through the fingers. A single candle in a very dark room. Field of sunflowers. A factory. People in prayer. Children at play. Diving into the deep blue ocean. sacred temple, sitting in meditation, see yourself sitting in meditation. Observe yourself sitting in meditation. Before coming back from this deep state of rest, remember your intention, your truth fell from the beginning of practice. And say it to yourself as if your whole being is listening. Your innermost truth knows this already true. And then you're just confirming a fact. Say it to a dear say it as you would to a dear one, a loved one. Say it with compassion and kindness and conviction. And 
And then before alerting the mind too much and waking the mind too much, allow the intuition of the body to send yourself in a stretch, a lengthening, an awakening, a twisting and turning, and making your body adjust and wiggle out of this deep rest in its own intuition. So stretch, wiggle, move slowly and softly and perhaps feel some click, click, clicks, some things moving in. Oftentimes when we're in this deep state of rest, the body's intuition locates places that need to be slightly adjusted and it's a magical time to take a lengthening. So reach and lengthen and add some muscular squeezing and lengthening. And then begin to notice the room. Begin to feel the temperature of the room. Begin to notice the parts of your body that are touching support, perhaps feeling the weight of the blanket. Notice the sounds in the room, soften into your room slowly, gently. And to notice your breath and perhaps beginning to bring in some soft, slow, full breaths into a completely relaxed and soft body. And then slowly bring a knee in at a time to the chest, curl up in a little ball. And make your way over to your side in a fetal position on whatever side is calling to you. Curling up in a fetal position and returning to that concept of unconditional love, a bubble of unconditional love. So think about unconditional love. Think about one more time being wrapped in this bubble. And if you are still struggling with that concept of unconditional love, think about the feeling that you get when a puppy greets you at the door, the physical feeling. Or perhaps that time when you couldn't help but giggle when a baby giggled at you. That feeling, that physical feeling, and then imagine that expanding and wrapping around you like a comforting ball of energy, as if you were wrapped in a womb of unconditional love curled up in the fetal position. And think about the time, think about the shape of the fetal position and reminding us of a time in the womb. And rather than wishing to go back to being a baby, an infant without responsibility, think about the time in the womb. All of our needs were met and we had not judged ourselves negative or positive or worried or feared. We were simply a little spark of life. And connect to that spark of life that exists within you unchanged by the worries, the layers, the mental fluctuations of the mind, that spark of life exists within you. And that spark of life is also unconditional love. So imagine you're wrapped around in a ball of unconditional love as well as unconditional love in your very heart center, your very core. And as you slowly make your way to a seated position, bringing your hands to prayer at heart space, imagine as you lift up to a seat, you're slowly dropping whatever is ready to be released. 
Try not to cognitively think about what that is, but think about it as weight on your physical body. And think about releasing and softening and loosening to the ground as you slowly come up, still wrapped in that bubble of unconditional love. And bring yourself to a seat. Bring your hands to prayer at heart space and acknowledge your own inner guide. And as you are still wrapped in your bubble of unconditional love, perhaps bringing to mind somebody else that might need be, to be wrapped in a bubble of unconditional love. Give me someone you know well or someone you know of and see them clearly in your mind's eye. Picture them in and then wrap them in a bubble of unconditional love. See them receiving this unconditional kindness and love and compassion. Perhaps see their face soften, their posture soften, their shoulders lift. their face soften and smile. May you spend the rest of your day continuing to be able to connect in with this sense of unconditional compassion, love, and kindness. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> so this is a deep meditation and we worked with emotions today so we can actually stir up whatever is ready to be processed try to connect to the fact that it is ready to be processed if it comes up so if a memory comes up and it's disturbing and it's bothering you or if an emotion comes up and it's disturbing and bothering you sit sit with it try to imagine that sensation of letting it flow through an emotion is something that is energetic and it is supposed to flow try not to get the head too caught in it and if the head does get too caught in it find a position of comfort for your physical body child's pose maybe just hands at prayer find a position that you feel particularly comforting find something that you can hold on to that you feel particularly comforting like especially a piece of earth something grounding and ground and breathe and rest and let it pass rather than trying to understand it it does not need to be understood to be processed things can come up they can float on through maybe tears stream maybe laughter comes from nowhere it doesn't need to be understood try to let it pass sit with it let it expand and let it pass and if it's particularly difficult try to get to nature trying to get outside see the sun see the stars see whatever is in nature maybe even take your bare feet on the ground find something that feels particularly grounding in nature to you or if you have a spiritual practice, a prayer, something that you go to, find that to just ground yourself back down. And any emotions or thoughts that come up and are disturbing or swirling and you're really struggling, try one of those little tricks to get yourself back grounded. And perhaps next time you'll be ready to let it pass. So thanks for joining us.